The Halo game series was my first real introduction to science fiction. In this universe, humanity is spread among the stars, but it was met by an alien force called the Covenant intent on human extermination. As a kid, I loved the diverse designs of the Alien Covenant, from the cowardly grunts to the imposing elites and the hairy one moment, hairless the next, space gorillas. But what really captured my imagination were the grand alien megastructures, the halos. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Blinded? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? Yes. So when the Master Chief Collection was released on PC, I returned to finish the fight once again. This time, something in the sky caught my eye. In Halo 3, after pushing the Covenant off Earth, you go through a portal to a new alien megastructure, the Ark. After landing on the Ark, if you look up, something spectacular hangs in the sky. A galaxy. That's our galaxy. We're beyond the rim. Two to the 18th light years from Galactic Center, to be precise. The portal transported you far outside the Milky Way, further out than even the dwarf galaxies known as the Magellanic Clouds, that are being slowly torn to shreds by the Milky Way. So I was left wondering, how accurate is this depiction of the Milky Way that we see in Halo 3? Let's start from the basics. Broadly speaking, galaxies can fit into three categories. The beautiful spiral galaxies, great blobs of stars called elliptical galaxies, and the messed up irregular galaxies. In Halo 3, we see the Milky Way as a spiral galaxy, and a beautiful one at that. A galaxy so well defined that astronomers would call it a grand design spiral galaxy. But from our vantage point within the Milky Way, we can't see this beautiful view. Instead, we see it as an arc of stars stretching across the sky. The simple observation of an arc of stars tells us that we live in a flat spiral galaxy, where the stars are concentrated within the disk of the galaxy. If instead the Milky Way was a blobby elliptical galaxy, we would expect to see a much more uniform view of stars across our sky. So they got this part right. Our galaxy is a spiral galaxy. But something more interesting is the structure towards the middle of our galaxy. From our vantage point on the arc, we can clearly see the spiral arms, but they don't go all the way into the middle. They stop short, giving way to a single bar of gas, dust, and stars, which leads to the galactic center. The structure is called a bar, and galaxies with them are called barred spiral galaxies. So is this right? Is the Milky Way a barred spiral galaxy? This question is pretty tricky to answer from looking within our galaxy, but it can be answered. The key again lies in the distribution or density of stars, gas, and dust within our galaxy. This time, instead of looking all around us to find the answer, we need to focus our search towards the center of our galaxy. If we live in a perfect spiral galaxy with no bar, then you would expect an even distribution or nearly equal amounts of stuff either side of the galactic center. But if the Milky Way does indeed have a bar, then you might expect to see an uneven distribution of stuff around the galactic center. Observing the center of our galaxy is pretty tricky though, since our view is obstructed by nebulae. But we can cut through the nebulae if we observe light with wavelengths so long that they don't get blocked by the gas and dust within the nebula, like infrared light. In 2005, the Spitzer Space Telescope, may it drift in peace, set its sights on answering this question after finishing a survey of about 30 million stars within the Milky Way. By counting the number of stars and their distribution throughout the disk of our galaxy, a clear asymmetry or uneven distribution of the stuff in our galaxy was revealed. This made it clear that our galaxy contained a central bar about 27,000 light years across. Along with that announcement, NASA released an updated artist's impression of what the Milky Way would look like from outside the galaxy, or... 2 to the 18th light years from galactic center, to be precise. Hmm. Now that I think about it, this artist's impression released in 2005 looks pretty similar to what we see on the Ark in 2007. Curious. 
Yes, isn't it? Did they actually use this NASA illustration as the basis for the Halo 3 Milky Way? Well, I needed answers. So I went to Twitter and asked the lead art director, Marcus Leto, if this was true. With appropriate humility, we plied the oracle with questions, and it, with clarity and grace, has shown us the key. So there we have it, the Milky Way that we see from the Ark is an accurate scientific representation of our own Milky Way, or at least how we understood it in 2007. Thanks for solving that mystery, Marcus. Now personally, I think this is pretty awesome. It might be a small thing, but the fact that they actually use the latest scientific knowledge from a NASA press release to render our galaxy makes me love this series even more. It's a great example of how science can appear where you least expect it and make things better for it. So now that this mystery is solved, I'd better get back to saving our beautiful barred spiral galaxy. So until next time.